Mariel Joyce Pasqua, General Santos City. Adelma, Manila! Faye Dominic Babiera de Vesa, Quezon Province. General Santos City, Mariel Joyce Pasqua. Manila, Alexandra Abdon. Quezon Province, Faye Dominique Deveza. Miss General Santos City, Marielle Joyce Pasqua. MJ is a MassCom graduate who lost her flight attendant job during this pandemic and now works as a marketing consultant. She is an active advocate of the movement Next Is Me to inspire the youth to focus on self-respect. Miss Manila, Alexandra Abdon. Alex is a nature lover who loves to dress down and take long road trips. She hopes the youth will focus on becoming the best versions of themselves and to stay away from negativity and fake news on social media. Miss Quezon Province, Faye Dominic Deveza, a USD graduate who currently works as a vendor in their local market store. Faye loves the word kalikasan because it represents Mother Nature and how vital it is for our future. Nandito kasi siya mamagsi. Nandiyan na si Alaysa sa baba. Hi, may adlaw sa tanan. I'm Marielle Joyce Pasqua. You can also call me MJ. I'm 27 years old. I'm representing the Tuna capital of the Philippines, General Santa City. So I'm also a graduate of AB Mass Communication in the premier university of General Santa City. I, I resided in, I'm residing in General Santa City, and, but I, I, I reside in General Santa City, but, sorry. I, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm 30 seconds. I'm 30 seconds. <laughs> Um, what is one beautiful word in your local hmm. language, and what does it mean? That's kalinaw. 
it means tranquility. Because I think in this time of pandemic, we all need tranquility and happiness. I am, they say that I am the life of the party and I make people happy and brighten up the world. So I think if you have a party, you can always invite me. <laughs> what is Kalinaw, it means tranquility. Kalina. It's in Bisaya. Okay, next question. What is that one learning experience that you have as a child that made so much impact on you? I mean, the courage that my mom, she battled cancer, lung cancer, for almost nine years. And in this time of pandemic, uh, it is really hard for me because aviation industry is one of the most affected industry in this time of pandemic and working as a flight attendant for almost four years and I lost this job. I lost my dream job, but it made me so stronger to achieve more in life and focus more on winning the crown of Miss Universe. The have an attitude of gratitude. We all have that time in this pandemic that we are so much a lot of battles that is happening in our mind I suffered a lot of depression because of the work but I should have that attitude of gratitude to be more thankful for what is happening for what I have right now I have time with more time with my family my health I am negative and I'm <laughs> Time. If you win, how will you help your community? I'm so passionate with the youth in our generation. So I made a movement of Next is Me. I've been so so happy to involve in our community, in General Santa City, to help the indigenous uh, communities. I also have programs like Pro Proyecto Cuaderno. It's a Proyecto Calon program that we made with Eliza and with my sisters here in Miss Universe Philippines because we want Thanks. to continue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, what color you, do you think symbolizes the uh, phenomenal woman? Phenomenal woman, it's green because it gives me, when I see green, it gives me so, it's so natural and it gives me tranquility. Let's start na talaga yung Miss Universe Philippines. Okay. So 30 seconds lang. Wait. <laughs> Kailangan ko huminga. Kailangan kong huminga. Okay. Game. Ni totoo. Game na. Game na. Game ka na ba? Asa ka hininga sa pag-akyat o sa pag-akyat? Tsaka ang lamig kasi. Actually pa ulit-ulit feeling ko pa ulit-ulit kami nang sinasabi na malamig. Oh. Ayun. Dapat binaba niyo yung shawl. Dapat nga binaba namin yung shawl. Oh, yung una nagsabing malamig. Hindi na to'o yan. Oh. <laughs> hindi na to'o yan. Natural na malamig, hindi yung aircon malamig. Oo. Oh, oh. Pinapapatay ko yung aircon kanina. Wala palang aircon. Sabi ko pakipatay yung aircon. So wala pala. Sige, ang dami kong chika. Oh, so tell us something about this. So I'm Alexandra. You can call me Alex. I'm 26. I... God, it's cold. I'm from Sampaloc, Manila, actually. So, kaya supernatural ko lang kasi basically ganito talaga kami sa Manila. Like, super, hindi kami super, um, nag-fake ng personality namin kung paano kami mag-dress up. Kaya minsan, most of the time, lagi lang ako nakapajamas. And then yesterday, I'm wearing a sweatshirt, not like this. And then super, mas comfortable ako Hi. without makeup. Thank you so much. Wag, 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 lag, easy ka lang sa pag-time. Or nagugulat ako eh. Wag, may galit ka yata, sir. <laughs> Gulat ako. Manila, Tagalog to. So, what is one beautiful word in your local, in your language, and what does it mean? I'm sorry, what one, is? One beautiful word in your language, and what does it mean? 
One beautiful word in my language. Well, Manila, usually Tagalog lang naman. So, um, ano? Yung mahapag-isip, wait. Wait lang, pwedeng pocket-pause yung time. Anyway. <laughs> okay, um, for Manila, I would go for matatapang. Matatapang lahat ng manilenyo, manilenya, kahit babae matatapang, meron silang pinaglalaban. Especially, alam namin, tama yung, pinag, tama yung pinaglalaban namin. Lagi kami nasa tama. Kasi, it's super nonsense Sorry. naman kung isi lang direct, isi ka lang direct. Huwag ka magalit sa akin, direct. Ako lang to, direct. <laughs> question. What is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? So, Growing up as a child, syempre naging daddy's girl ako, meron siyang future na gusto for me. And then, parang ako, wait lang ah, super tat, chill na lang ako ng tayo. And then parang ako syempre parang iniisip ko super limited ng resources ko. And then growing up, na-realize ko na nagawa ko siya all by myself. So, so basically, I'm inspiring every dreamers out there kasi I was once a dreamer. Na parang ayaw akong isipin nila na merong hindrance or whatever. Eh, naka-smile na si Derek. Okay. <laughs> Next question. What about in this pandemic? What is the greatest lesson that you learned? In this? A pandemic. During this pandemic. So, during this pandemic, sobrang negative na kasi nang nangyayari eh. So, I try to stay positive. Ayoko mo nang mag-isip na to social media, sobrang dami kasing fake news sa eh, parang Lahat na lang ng tao mayroong gustong sabihin na negative. Bakit kailangan lagi na lang negative yung kinakalat niyo? Super negative na nangyayari. Let's just gotta chill. Ano, wala namang mawawala kung magpaka-positive tayo. It's super good nga eh, kasi you're making everyone around you super happy and chill as well. Yan. Hindi wow. ako nag-time. <laughs> if you win, how do you plan to help your community? Well, if I win, ngayon pa lang super happy ko na sa support na natatanggap ko sa community ko kasi God is so cool. Kasi usual sa place namin, hindi siya yung parang super social na level ng Manila. So parang ako, nakikita nila ako na beauty queen ka, but then super humble mo. nag reach out ka to everyone, kaya mong makihalubilo na hindi ka maarte, hindi ka, oh my God, ano yan, ganyan. So super... <laughs> Level lang. Thank you. You're welcome, Derek. <laughs> okay. What color do you think symbolizes the uh, phenomenal woman? Phenomenal woman for me. Um, the color that would symbolize is a phenomenal woman for me. Um, I'm wearing pink right now, but for me, it would be color black. Kasi color black is super neutral lang, and it depends kung paano mo kaya dalhin yung black na super plain lang siya, how would you express yourself on, on what you wear, on how you dress up? So, ang um, work from home now, part na siya ng new norm, di ba? I'm actually working from home. Okay, so anong skills? <laughs> super saya ko. Anong mga skills ang kailangan sa work from home na part na ngayon ng future? So, for working from home, kailangan mong mag-adjust sa so, kung paano kayo magpapalitan ng messages, kung paano sasagutin yung specific questions mo. Kasi usually meron kayong time, parang ngayon meron kami 30 seconds, kami meron kami like 2 minutes to answer, but then ang tagal nung magbibigay sa ng sagot. So, kailangan patience, may patience ka lang din. And hindi ka, na, hindi ka rin pwedeng laging mas marunong sa ibang tao kasi laging may mas matalino sa'yo. And kaya sila ng jump para tulungan ka. So, maging humble ka lang din sa kanila. Okay, if there is one place or spot in Manila, whether it's man-made or natural, that you would like to promote sa buong mundo, ano to? I'll go for Sakiapo. Kasi, doon, ako, doon kami kumakain lagi. Like, Siguro bababa kami sa specific drop-off sa Quiapo and then lahat ng madaanan namin na kainan, kinakainan namin like meron burger, meron ding oriental, super dami and mga street food sa ah, super sarap kayang kumain. And then you just gotta wear super nice, super comfy outfit, no makeup at all and then super sarap lang, kakain ka lang. Ano? Oh, my God. Kapag jama lang, slippers, ganon. May ano, di ba? May kampanya ngayon, hashtag love local. 
Mm. So ikaw, anong local products ang gusto mo i-promote and why? Local products, actually ang pina-promote ko ngayon is yung mga local brands. Kasi ang mga, usually kasi pinapatternize na ng mga tao yung mga international brands eh. And ako, being connected sa mga hip-hops and sa streets, gusto kong i-promote yung local brands na, kasi usually ang tingin sa kanila parang um, super low class sila, ganyan. Kung ano man yung opinion ng iba. But then, if you go deeper with their thoughts, may iintindihan mo na meron din silang point. May point naman. Okay lang. Hala, oh my God. In 30 seconds, then, us. what is that one thing you think young people should focus on? So, for the youth for today, my message for them is to don't forget to always make uh, to show the better version of yourselves. There will always be room for improvements, and madalas talaga makakatanggap tayo ng casual interview today. Thank you. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Faye Dominic Davesa, representing Quezon Province. Opo, hininga mo ka pag akit ng stairs. Yes, okay na po. So 30 seconds lang please. Okay po. Tell us something about it. Tell me, ako when I was born, tinatawag nila, nung nakita ko ni mami ko, sabi niya, ay parang napalitan yung anak ko. Kasi po, may itim ako nung bata pa ako. Pero yung lolo ko ang nagtiwala sa akin. First, yung nakita po niya ako, sabi niya sa akin, ay, gaganda pa yan. So, sobrang positive ng lolo ko. Kaya naman no seventh birthday, ang request niya po sa akin, ang wish niya sa akin, sabi niya, ate, gusto ko sumali ka na Miss Universe Philippines. And that's why I am here. I am... Time. Ay, tapos na yun. Wait lang po, may sasabihin pa ako. Ay, ganun lang pala kabilis. Oo, oh, sorry. Hindi ko pala anong ending ko. Okay. What is one beautiful word in your language, which is Tagalog? And what does it mean? Kalikasan. Our Mother Nature provides us all with so many wonderful and useful things that we could ever imagine, from beautiful sights to food and shelter, and these are all vital for living. Thus, I would like to encourage everyone to take care of our natural resources for the sake of our children and for our future. We must do more to combat all aggravating factors that threaten our Mother Nature. After all, our planet can live even without us human, but we, we cannot live without our planet. Sakto. Hey, by the way, ang ganda po ng bamboo, bamboo ba tumbler. Yes. Gift ko po sa mami ko yung bamboo tumbler bago ako pumunta dito. Mm -mm. And birthday niya kahapon. <laughs> yes. And she loves the environment like me. That's why I'm wearing green because it's color of life, it's color of freshness and beauty. <laughs> Next question. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child? One learning experience when I was a child. One learning experience. Kaya nagjoin talaga ako ng first pageant. Hindi ko puto talaga siya sinasabi kasi it was a devastated po ang family ko. Hindi ko siya tinake it seriously. Walare na ako ng proper training. Kaya sabi ko sa sarili ko, ay babawi ako. Nung JS Prom ko sabi ko, Mommy, I will make you proud. Nung JS Prom, nag-training na ako, hinanda ko yung dress ko, and then nanalo ko. I was a dream girl way back, way back then, yung third year high school ko. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sakto. Sakto. Sama sakto na. <laughs> What about this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you learned? I learned in this pandemic, ang pinaka lang sa lahat is life. Uh, ang pinaka importante yung love once mo and yung uh, love and family. Yun yung importante. And sa advocacy ko rin, we should think like a dog. Kasi ang thinking ng dog, simple lang. Makakain siya, makatulog siya, at may family na may nagmamahal sa kanya, masaya na siya. And that's what I like. I am simple girl, nagani sa probinsya. Ngayon nandito na ako. At gusto ko sabiin sa mga sorry sorry. Oh later na lang po sa if ever na may question pa. If you win, how do you plan to help your community? If I win Miss Universe Philippines, I'm planning to promote my 
uh, ano po, plano ko po tulungan ng mga inspiring girls din na hindi ganun kagaling mag-English. Pero gusto nilang sumali ng mga national pageant kasi ako yung true representation na kahit ako, nagtatagalog ako, basta ikaw ay may puso na sumagot, kaya mo makipagsabayan sa, marami, sa lahat ng magagaling na ladies, ay kaya mo rin. Kaya to all the women out there who are who are not good in speaking English, come on, join me and let's make a change. Thank you. <laughs> I think the color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman is what I am wearing, color green. Because color green symbolizes life, which is like coconut. From Quezon province, ang coconut po ay uh, parang tree of life. And I am proud of it. And diyan po yung nagsisimulize ng color ko, color green. Like the environment, I love the environment, I love the nature. That's why they love me back as well. <laughs> so now you're working from home, right? Working yes. from home, work from home. Mm -hmm. So what do you think are mga kailangan skills, no? kailangan i-develop na skills that work from home is now part of the new world? I think isa talaga sa kailangan i-develop na skills ay kung paano mag-log in sa Zoom, kung paano gumamit ng mga gadgets. Kasi po yun po yung pinakauna mong kailangan gawin. It's to learn how to use the simple gadgets like cell phone, laptop, and sana dapat mabilis ang wifi para po hindi mapuputol ang mga work. Kasi yun yung naniniwala ko na kailangan po natin. And that is essential right now. To learn how to use the devices. Kung meron isang lugar sa Quezon province, oh, whether man-made or natural, mm -mm. na gusto mong i-promote sa mundo, what would it be? Ako po kasi Tagalogban, Quezon ako. Kaya po kung ako magpo-promote, ipopromote ko ang kamay ni Jesus. Kasi ito yung healing church namin. At ako ay proud dito. Kasi marami mga turista talaga ang pumupunta dito every Holy Week para magdasal, para magpagaling, at para mag-reflect kung ano ba ang kailangan nilang gawin para may improve nila sa sarili nila. And yun po yung one thing na gusto kong ipromote sa lahat. Pumunta kayo sa Quezon, kumain kayo ng pansit habab and longganisan lukban. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> yes, nakakagutom na po. Pero kaya pa naman. Yes, kayang-kaya. Puso-puso ngayon yung hashtag love local. Yes. Ikaw, tatanungin kita, anong local product ang gusto mo promote? Hashtag love local. Siyempre po yung keeping. Kasi po, I'm from Quezon Province. Pahiyas Festival po yung aming sinaselebrate every May 15. Kaya gusto ko pa po mas makilala pa internationally ang keeping. Ito po ay rice shave na leaf na ginagawa rin siyang chandelier. At pwede rin siyang kainin kapag gutom ka na. Sasawsaw mo lang siya sa sugar. Yun, masarap po siya. Oh, pero meron na ngayon iba't ibang klase ng keeping kasi nag-innovate na kami, meron na rin siyang abaka, meron na rin plastic para po may export siya sa international. Okay, Internationally. Sure. Uh, last question na lang is, I mean, what is that one thing na tingin mo young people should focus on? I believe that uh, yeah, yung kailangan mag-focus is yung pag-aaral kasi uh, education is the passport to success naniniwala ako dito. Kung may proper education ka, magagawa mo lahat. Kasi ngayon po, ang mga, ed mga kabataan ngayon, napapariwara na. Kaya gusto ko rin po i-encourage sila na mahali na sarili nila. And